Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are back for some more of that Tensor of Greatness. This being the 22nd episode of the second season or episode 46 overall. Now we have Wall Purges. We have Clayman uh, definitely about to get what he deserves because we saw Remur at the end of the previous episode. But besides that, because I'm really excited to see the trash taken out. But just with Wall Purges, who we have gathering here. I know I keep saying it, but I'm just so excited to see what we're going to have with this and, you know, ultimately what's going to come out of this. Uh, also have to give a lot of, you know, sh a shout out and, and praise to Shuna with the focus that we had with her in the previous episode. I really loved uh, what we had with that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm ready to get into this episode and, and see. Hopefully, I don't know if we're going to see it in this episode, but we go we got to start. We're going to start the process of, of taking the trash. Uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, with all that said, we're going to hop into this episode. Here we go. Now introduce the participants, which we saw them all like walk in. Now like formally, I guess, the introductions. Nilim, who is not herself right now. Of course, we know this. <laughs> Literally the sleeping ruler, he's slumped. <laughs> boo, boo, <laughs> this guy stinks. <laughs> Slime, the leader of the Jura Tempest Federation. Let him know. Our boy. Let's begin our banger. Let's be, let's begin by taking you out. How about how about we get it get it started like that? Cause nobody fucks with you. Demon Lord's banquet. Well, I, I thought it was gonna cut to the OP right there, but apparently we don't have uh OP. Koranga oh, and Shion, both of them. Oh my god. Rightfully so too. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> it, she's alive. Hit him with hit him with every move. Hit him with it. Oh, Muran, oh my god, man. Yeah, like, he really cared, bro. When, when is someone just gonna blast him? Like, when, when is someone gonna do it? I'm just waiting at this point. <laughs> You're bullshitting. There it is. There it is. He's like, huh? Oh, he, he's like, you gonna go to that? But we know what the truth is. Wow, in 4K! In 4K! Literally! Which, who, who, who could we think that is? Right? Let's be, let's be real here. Who would be, the, the main person I would think that it is, who we've outed pretty much as a snake. Yeah, I mean, we have saw a bit of that, right? We've literally outed the, uh, outed the man as a snake, the, the headmaster, right? Like... That, isn't that that's who it is right i believe so i think that's pretty obvious like or at least us the viewer could put that together like them here in the show figuring that out like remu figuring this out or whoever figuring this out putting that together that's like another thing <laughs> everyone's just probably looking at you right now just how stupid you sound and look right now <laughs> yeah Nobody cares. Nobody fucks with you. Nobody even is hearing you out right now. This is exactly what how we wanted you to perceive this. That, that was our plan. <laughs> this dude, bro. <laughs> we got you, we got you in 4K. Where's your proof? You have nothing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everyone's just still chilling. <laughs> He's off the chair now. Dude, here we go, man. This is the moment we've been waiting for because we're about to give it to him. Yes, yeah, sir. The, rem the Remu way. The way we love. It can be any of y'all. It can be any person. You're going to be my enemy. But right now, it's this man. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is going to be a wipe. Oh, that's easy. That's easy then. You think he's gonna fight one on one though? Like he's gonna try. He has like this control over Milim. He's gonna try to use Milim or something. I exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way this dude was gonna fight a one on one. And it's not really of her own choosing, technically. And it's Rimuru like their besties, you know. But obviously Milim's not herself right now. But Rimuru happened to fight her. Oh, he's like, Ramirez said, like, I'm gonna get someone too. Oh! 
Yo, Xi'an! She hit him with the oil, oil, oil. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Hey, you, you pissed now? You pissed now? That, that's not even gonna matter. We got like a three on three here or something. Is that is that where we getting with this? That's what it seems like. This man always gotta have like the numbers advantage. He can't just have a sh like one on one, two on two, three on three. Like he, look at him. He's pulling out everything, dude. Oh my. <laughs> He's just like. Whoa. <laughs> She, now here here's the th here's the thing i have like is Millim herself like even with this mind control like is she really like at full you know her full like strength i guess you would say because I, I i feel like if she was being mind controlled like she can't she's not going to be fighting as she normally would or like the the levels are like whatever the numbers are on it right like or the the class or whatever you want to say like maybe they're diminished a little bit because of kind of this state she's in <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. Did you see how they animated that right there? Oh my. Dude. <laughs> Milim has her own plans. <laughs> we wouldn't be surprised if you did it, right? Am I wrong? Then please let me get in here. Right, bro. I have to just approach a gi like this. <laughs> huh. Gee, do you get that? Gee, do you understand the friendship thing? I, I don't know. I don't know if he does or not. Is that the first? Is that the first time we've heard him called that? Maybe it is. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Aww. <laughs> Aww, that's adorable. Someone you recognize is stronger than yourself. Far, far behind. We're talking about Diablo. That just it just keeps adding on and on and on to it. To that curiosity. Yeah, Shion's holding out though. Remember, whoa, hold, remember, watch, watch you got your. Oh! Oh! Veldora! Wait! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Bro, oh my god. I swear, it felt like Milim was herself there for a second. Like, when we heard her, like, laughing and whatnot. Now, I, apparently Beelzebub was working. I wasn't sure if it was. It looked like maybe it wasn't, but I guess it was. But... I was like thinking, I was like, maybe Millum, like, we're, like we're, she's starting to come back to her senses now. So maybe me saying that, like, what if she's just been joking around this? There'd be no need for that. Like, she could fool around with, with Remura even if she wasn't being controlled. You know what I'm saying? So me thinking that, I guess, was kind of kind of stupid in a, in a way, maybe. I don't know. But um, we're almost there to getting Millum back to, obviously, Millum. Because this whole thing with Clayman and all that, the mind control has been going on. And we're we're close. To taking out the garbage, still in the middle, sort of of a, of a confrontation. Shion been holding out against him though, which I have to say, like we obviously we know Shion and just everyone has got stronger, a lot more formidable. But Shion holding her own, Ramira even holding off against Milam right here. Now I, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I don't know if she's to the, you know, her her normal capabilities, but Ramira did say that if without Raphael, Ramira would be dead. So, I mean, that kind of says a lot, but still, I, I don't really know specifically. But still, Remuro holding off is, is pretty impressive in its, in its own right. But, I mean, Clayman getting outed to everyone really here and just everyone looking at him like it, most of them didn't really fuck with him to begin with. But most of them hearing this and seeing this are just like, dude, like, come on, just just face the slime, right? <laughs> You're like, do it yourself, man. Like, come on, we'll, we'll give you this opportunity. We'll let you do this. Nobody like. Nobody really cares about any of the stuff he was saying. And then, like, he's outed, really, in 4K when you think about it. So, I mean, we saw it. So, Remu in this episode was awesome, I have to say. And then, also, you have to give a lot of, uh, a lot of praise to Xion. Ranga kind of out here. Ranga, not really doing much, but Ranga out here, right? And then uh, Beretta, which, 
Um, I was kind of wondering like who Beretta was talking about with that, but I guess I was thinking Veldora. Diablo was also a thought in my mind. I just didn't mention it. But I guess uh, that's kind of what Beretta was was thinking about there. And I guess that makes sense, right, with what they were talking about there with Beretta and the bloodline and, and uh, I guess, Beretta's origins and all of that. So we kind of got a, a nice mix here in this in this fight. The, the trash hasn't been taken out yet, but seeing that so, some JoJo shit from Xion, the, the aura, 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 <laughs> that was amazing man now ultimately that wasn't the the nail in the coffin obviously that was the way to get things started but we getting there we getting close so just seeing everyone here at, you know at this table with wall purchase now i know we have this i guess maybe you would say this is sort of an intermission in a way this this fight it's kind of a maybe not what some of them expected coming in the wall purchase right like having something like this go on but i guess anything could happen here at wall purchase with all that meeting here. Now, I know Clayman summoned them or whatever, but uh, his plans quickly came crashing down on him when he was literally outed. And then Murin being alive and just all this not adding up to even some of the other demon lords here. It's like, come on, man. Come on. So, yeah. Really good episode. I really enjoyed what we had with this one, man. Uh, we got a few more episodes to go in this part. And it, it's heating up. It's heating up. And once we see the trash i mean some things in this episode were just so good to see especially him getting punched by Xion. like that was the highlight maybe of the, of the episode for me but once we see him go once he's gone hopefully i think he is pretty sure he should be gone after when, when this is all said and done oh my god i cannot wait dude because there's nobody fucks with clay man so yeah that about does it for this episode man let me know what y'all thought of this episode of slime if you guys did enjoy my reaction make sure you drop a like Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.